All right. So um, we're the uh, MRT sleeper cell team, and we created uh, a Betty bot. So uh, our our use case is actually almost exactly what Red Hat did. Uh, so thanks for opening us for us. And ours also won't work. So <laughs> thanks for that as well. Um, uh, but basically, the the idea was that we were to take um, and an SNS conversation, we're going to send it to Dialogflow, kind of preface that with an agent, uh, a, dig a virtual agent, and then determine if they need to speak to a, a medical uh, a personnel. And then if, if it's determined that they would need to speak to a medical personnel, that personnel would be in a spaces room, and then uh, you know, they would have that full history of the, the virtual agent. And then we also were uh, kind of in the last stages of getting the uh, virtual assist on there. So we would actually put in like suggested responses for the human agent to give back to the, the uh, you know, the, the person asking for help. Uh, so I had a demo that I was going to go over, but it's not working, so I'm not even going to try to push you through that. <laughs> it's just not ready for that. Um, but the idea was was uh, then you know you would have that virtual assistant, and then the agent assist using spaces to integrate with SMS. That was our idea. And of course, you know it's not limited to medical. Uh, it could be you know any sort of support use case. Um, and we had some thoughts about integrating voice too, but we didn't quite get there in time. For the, well, we didn't get to that semester time, so that's that situation. Uh, and then we call it Betty Bot because in our use case we kind of did like this, you know, approach for you know maybe someone that's afraid of the dark, and then had the agent set up to kind of tease them a little bit, and then they would say, ah, oh, I really want a human, you're, you know, you're not helping me, and then, and then the, it would transfer the human, and then they, of course the human would be more compassionate, and, you know, actually help them. Uh, so, that was uh, the plan there. And uh, this is kind of a flow, we, we wrote the back end in Golang, um, so we made an interface from Golang to the CPAS um, that's sending and receiving SMS. Uh, we also have the interface with Golang to Dialogflow, uh, and that we could send the message to Dialogflow, get the, the virtual agent response. Uh, we had a little bit of hiccup with the, the agent assist, um, but uh, the Google team is looking into that to see you know, what happens. And then uh, we also had the, the Golang attachment into a bias, uh spaces. So we got all that, but we just didn't quite get to where everything tied together. So unfortunately, uh, thought we might be able to get there before this presentation. But, um, that's our project. Uh,